everyone and welcome back to my channel so today I will be talking to you guys about clothes and being minimal and um, not having a lot of clothes so um, yeah if you guys are new to this channel I'm a mom a young mom I'm expecting my second baby at this moment uh, we're having another little boy and um, yeah this will just be a, a bit of a different type of vlog but I wanted to vlog it now because um, once the little one is here then it will be going into um, spring and summer and then I just want to be able to grab my summer clothes and pack away my winter clothes and just have the transition easy so um, about a year ago me and my husband or me first um, I will started researching being minimal and what are the benefits of being minimal what are uh, some of the things that I like about being minimal um, and soon my husband also started researching a lot we started watching a lot of documentaries together uh, reading some books um, and we really wanted to start embracing being minimal so it was a long process because we had a lot of a lot of stuff um, as I've also mentioned on my, over on Instagram and stuff um, even for the fact that we've only been together three and a half years we still accumulated a lot of stuff and I'm sure that there are people out there that can um, say amen to that um, you just buy stuff you go to the store you buy stuff you see stuff you want to buy you want to have new 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 pair of shoes a new pair of um, um, whatever new you want but it's an impulsive buy often um, so I started with we, st we actually started with um, decluttering our house and going room by room um, and carrying on like that so the first phase we did about I think about 70% of our stuff we just sorted it out and um, started saying goodbye to stuff stuff that didn't make us happy stuff that we thought well we're not going to be using stuff that we hadn't been using for two to, two to three years just all of those things and questions we started asking ourselves um, that was beginning last year and we had a whole year and as you know um, clothes were for me one of my biggest hoarding collecting um, that was just my thing um, I started collecting when I was 19 um, and it took about two to three years when I realized well everything that I have in my closet doesn't make me happy do I wear it or is it only lying around you have to pick it up extra uh, you have to wash extra um, you wear something 10 minutes um, that was also a very bad habit of mine that I would get dressed in the morning and then around 12 o'clock I would think oh I don't like this outfit I'm just gonna put something else on um, and before you know it you're in the evening and you've had eight a pair of outfits you've had on um, you know it's it's what where do you spend your time what do you invest in so we started thinking about all those things and we started working on it together um, so I'm really really grateful that we can do this together and that me and my husband do have the same goals but clothes for me is something that I had to reduce so um, I think I made a vlog two 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 years ago about my walk-in closet and I had a room it was about the room right two by two um, I had that whole room for myself with all my clothes hanging, uh, all my shoes laid out, all my makeup, everything. And I was happy about it. And one day I just walked in and thought, you know, this is not what I want. I want uh, uh, one drawer in the morning I get up. I want uh, things that make me happy, things that I'm comfortable with, things that I, um, yeah, I don't want to spend that money and that time on clothes and shoes and how I look, everything. So I started reducing and reducing and reducing. It took a long process um, and all the clothes that I did throw out and didn't want anymore, I donated to people, I helped people with it uh, and it also made me happy doing that. I, I, I already like shopping at thrift stores so for me that's not a big thing but that's also something that people often consider like being minimal, going to thrift stores, um, you know, reusing stuff. So for me that, that was really important. and. Um, so this is actually what I've got left. So at the moment I'm sitting on the bed and we've got an uh, IKEA bed with two drawers, two big drawers. So at the moment I don't have a closet and I'm really thankful for that. Just to learn, just to appreciate the things that I have, the little things that I have. So the, the drawer at this side, I will still be showing you guys everything that's inside. Um, or an overview at least is shoes and my shoes I've also reduced I started with 55 pairs of shoes winter and summer 
Um, and now I have winter and summer shoes in one drawer. So my sneakers and my sandals and my heels. Um, you don't need more than two sneakers, you don't need more than two heels, you don't need more than two uh, um, uh, boot, pairs of boots, you know, I reduced it. Um, and it's feeling so good. In the other drawer I have my winter clothes at the moment, because it's winter at the moment here. And um, even with all my sweaters and uh, everything, leggings, jeans, everything, I reduced it to one big drawer. So I'm really happy about that, and I will be bidding that up once it becomes spring and summer. But my summer clothes, as you can see, I still have two bins, and I want to reduce this. I want to have the one winter bin, and I want to have one summer bin. And then, of course, with the winter, you also have the, the fall clothes added to it, so a little bit transitional. And you're with the spring and the summer, of course, transitional. So I will be going through these two bins. These two bins, the last time that I... Uh, looked in in them was when I when we cleaned out the room um, for the spare bedroom and the laundry room to be in there that's the last time I looked into these so for me I think it's also a lot of surprises that are in here this is already what I reduced from a whole room of course but now I'm gonna do it again and say okay do I feel happy with this am I gonna wear this um, uh, do I feel comfortable in it is it practical for my kind of lifestyle what is an occasion that I would wear it? Um, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna go into it. So this is kind of just a background on why we became minimal. And if you guys want to know more about our journey and how we did it and um, how how far we are now and everything, um, please do let me know. Uh, just DM me on my Instagram. Um, please let us know, and then we can also do that. And then we, I, me and Mahabi can also do a Q and A together in how we got to be where we got and of course it's never we're never done and we still feel that we still have too many stuff and <laughs> too many things but we are a step further in 2021 than we were in 2020 so we're really proud of ourselves i'm just going to open the first bin and i'm going to just take out items and i'll show you guys how i process it in my head and how i get to less stuff so the first thing i see is a mini skirt now I love mini skirts. I love these uh, t-shirt material. Really nice. But do I wear this? No, because being a mom and a mini skirt is not practical. Not in my in my thing. And I hardly ever go out or do stuff and without my kids. And for school, I don't think that a mini skirt is appropriate. So, but that's my thing. So I'm gonna make a pile here with donate. Then I have a black pair of pants. Now, these pants are the only pants that I like. I love these. I always wear these. I think that having black pants in your closet, especially if you have a minimal closet, is um, yeah, is essential. So I will be keeping these. Leggings. Panther prints. Panther prints, those make me happy anymore. I don't know why I still have this. But uh, it's a legging and no, it's just not something that I see myself wearing in the coming year. So I'm going to donate. Wow, a little black dress. It's always handy to have a little black dress. But this dress, look at how small it is. And I've, I've actually never worn this dress. But I'm going to just put it in the pile of think about. That's also something you can do. Put it in the pile of think about. You can always go back to it and then decide, you know, should I keep it or shouldn't I keep it. I have a maxi dress. Oh, I love maxi dresses. For me, as a mom, it's very practical to have a maxi dress. You can bend over. It's nice and cool. It's nice and airy. You can play with your kids, go to the beach. You know, it's just nice. And it's got two slits at the side. And it's just nice t-shirt material in the color blue. I will be keeping that. A jumper dress in a denim. Yes, I love this this jumper dress. It's also pretty short. I must say in the summer, I don't often often wear it, but I know that this is a very nice item for all season all around. I can't wear it now because of my bump, but otherwise it will probably be in my winter because you can also wear a jumper underneath, leggings, boots, but you can also dress it down. So yes, I'm keeping this one. And I think my husband got this one for me sometime back. Then we've got a basic tee. 
Now I love these. I got the all of these just a basic top. Nice to match up, nice to dress down, dress up, whatever. And I wear this one often. Really, really happy with this one. Then we've got this. This is a strapless little pants. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's, it's heavy pants. Pantsuit thingy? No. I don't know. I don't know where I got this actually. Didn't even know I had it. Done it. Then we have shorts. Now I love these kind of shorts, must say. Especially in the house, to lounging, to sitting. And it's got this nice piece of lace. And I also think that uh, having a black pair of shorts is really handy. Then we've got this dress, also a very basic dress. I also love this. Not too long, not too short, perfect for in my closet. Also very natural colors. Jeans. Shorts. Jeans. I don't know. I never know what to think about these. You know, I never grew up wearing denim shorts. And I don't know. I never feel comfortable in these. But I want to I wanna keep these because I found these. These are stretch. Um, great, great, great texture. And um, I like them because they're not, they don't have too short of a pants. Um, I don't like them sitting up high. I like them a bit more mid. I think that's a bit more appropriate for, for me then. So I think I'm of keeping these. And I'm going to just put them here. Then I've got these shorts. Yes, I love these. I love shorts with just normal material. So I'm going to keep those. Oh, PJ bottoms. Also always, always, always keep got a maxi skirt which I also wear often just a nice maxi skirt let's see if I can reduce a bit more another maxi skirt which I've never worn I don't even know how this is supposed to work actually now that I mention it mm, I think it's the wrong way around but anyway It's a maxi sh skirt with a very weird cut. I don't know. Maybe Kyle. Then we've got little black leggings shorts. I love these just under a big t-shirt or yeah anything. It's just easy to throw on. Easy to do housekeeping in. Easy for everything. A sports top. Yes, I will be keeping this one. I always wear this one. It's just the basic black sports top. No, I don't know. PJ pants, which I'm not sure about actually, to be honest. I don't know if I want these. Maybe. Yes, my maxi dress that I got last year, which I often, often wear and wore. I love these, just very simple, easy, elegant, long, stretchy dress. Then we, I have a skirt here, which is also really nice, but I don't often wear. So I'm just going to donate. Then a beach dress. Which is again the wrong way around. A beach dress, which I am planning on going. We are planning to go more to the beach. Also, hiring a car this summer, so you guys will also be seeing that. So, I think I'm gonna just keep that. Oh, I already know what this is sports top. No, I don't want this anymore. I think this is just a sports top, stay strong. It says donate. This is a crop top kind of I love these I always always wear those in the summer I know that we've got my elephant which is actually all seasonal because I always throw it over wow I kind of <laughs> this is tangled I always throw this top over something else so I love that as you guys can see actually the camera 
this is a very nice blouse for formality but I don't think I'm gonna be wearing that so I'm just gonna donate that but I've had these for ages I know the three-quarter pants I think my mom even bought this when I was 16 or something but it's just been worn out and uh, to be honest it's always so tight I've just grown 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 a lot with hips and everything so I'm just going to donate that then an extra pair of leggings which is not supposed to be in here because this is winter stuff another crop top that says girls oh i love this one i love neon then my bathing suits which i will be going through in a minute a crop top for the soccer thing and i don't know i don't think i'm gonna donate it a summer sweatshirt which i hardly ever wear because it's just always too hot, oh this is the front, too hot, it has like this color thing, or too hot, or I don't know, but for maybe for color purpose in my closet, yes, no, I'll keep it, we have another maxi skirt, which I love, I'm gonna keep those, as you can see, I keep the same kind of style because uh, there's a certain style that I just love, I just like, and I'm also not throwing out too much um, because I've already gone through these clothes last year, but I'm just going through them again to refresh my mind what I have and what I don't have. Grey, maxi, same as the blue. Crate done. Now we'll be moving to the second one. I'll just move like this. Let's see if we can reduce some more here. First things first, a t-shirt, which I love, adore. I don't wear a lot of t-shirts as you could see, but this one I just like. This is a party pants that I once bought. No, donate. This is a jump suit thingy. <coughs> Sorry. Whew. This is a jump suit thingy. This is the only one I wear. So, yes. Oops. A fold over maxi skirt that I don't like because of the, the top, as you can see. I'm going to donate that. My favorite dress in here. Just a basic striped dress a crop top that I also love a bit of a formal dress with a white line at the back keep a favorite dress of mine as well with the center back sports clothes donate these pants legging pants sport pants I never wear skinny jeans that I also don't like anymore pyjama top, yes, I'm keeping that right at the front as well a crop top, striped, keep my yellow dress I'm so, so, so happy about this but it's been squashed <laughs> but yes, I'm keeping this one my yellow dress, I think keeps the meadows on Instagram a top, another crop top thingy that I also 
photo. Okay, jumpsuits. So this is the pile of donate as you guys can see it's pretty big I mean for the fact that I reduced everything last year and then this is the pile keep which looks like a lot of clothes but of course they're not folded in any way and then here we still got a pile maybe and I have to go through I really don't know what I want to if I want to keep this I think maybe this my husband will like I don't think that I'll keep this one and this one either. So, that was easy. And then my bathing suits. Um, I'm going to keep this one. The Speedo one. And this one. I love this one with the pattern. And I'm going to keep, of course, the... Uh, I don't know. Which one should I keep from these two? Because they're the same. Well, I'm just going to keep my bathing suits because they're sentimental as well. And I'm, of course, I'm keeping that. So, yeah, that's that. So, then I can take one bin. And I'm going to put everything in this bin. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like. So, as you can see, this is an overview of everything that I kept. I mean, for some people, this is still a lot. I get that. It really depends on where you come from and... For me, this is like all I have left. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, these are my skirt, dress, yeah, my dresses. As you can see, I've still got a lot of dresses, but I am a real dress wearer. And then I've got my skirts here. I also wear quite a bit of skirts. My t-shirts are not that many anymore. I have a few tees and a few non-sleeve tees. Then I've got a few shorts, three long pants. These are my sports wear and stuff. One sweater, one jumpsuit, PJs, and my swimwear. So yeah, that's that's everything that I've got left. So I said I would show you guys the bins. These are the drawers below the bed. So this is these are all my winter clothes, which I'm really happy with. But I'll as soon as I go and put them in the the empty container over there, I will um, also be going through them and I will also be making a vlog on that. So check that out. And then these are all the shoes that I've got left. My summer shoes, this side, and my sneakers. <coughs> but I just wanted to show you that the, this is my closet, this is what I work with. So we're back to where we started off <laughs> this whole vlog and that my goal was reached. It can close properly but um, yeah, it's it's one container so I'm happy. So that was my goal for this today. One container winter uh, spring clothes and then this container will be empty until my winter clothes get in here or I will be using the same bins but practicality it's the same. Um, so yeah, I actually threw out a whole container of clothes. So every season, with every season change, I try and do this to just keep producing stuff. And of course, in the in the season, you buy, you do buy some stuff. I mean, it's not like I don't buy, I never buy new clothes. I do buy a few trendy outfits or stuff that things that I need for an occasion or something. Of course, I do buy that. But then once the season is over, I'll go through everything and then that's how we re how we just carry on. And my husband does it for his clothes and we do that with my son's clothes as well. We also don't buy too many clothes for him and we box up everything for the second one. 
So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It's a, it was a bit of a longer vlog, but I didn't want to cut it into two vlogs. Um, do subscribe below that you don't miss the winter um, minimal uh, closet clear out because I will also be also showing you guys that one. Of course, then I won't be having the bump, but um, yeah, then hopefully it will already be here. Um, so yeah, I will check you guys later and have a great weekend. And uh, thanks for all your support, all your likes, all your comments, everything all over on my Instagram. I really, really appreciate it, with you guys. So um, yeah, without anything, I think this is the end. So bye and thanks for watching.